What is going on, fellow Wastelanders? Shock Radio here, and I am extremely sad to make this video, but I feel like it must be done. As a fused Firebug player, I am finally facing the music that Dracos are better in just about every way than Firebugs. And I'm going to tell you why in this video, so stay tuned, like and subscribe, and comment below on your thoughts. So real quick, just a history of kind of the rise of the dogs in Crossout, because fire dogs, particularly Dracos, were not meta, say a year ago, or two years ago, or even I think three years ago is when I got my first fire bug. And this can be exemplified by simply looking at the price I paid for these weapons. Generally speaking, price correlates to how well a weapon does, right? A Typhoon is garbage right now. It's the lowest costing relic, hence why it is the lowest costing relic. Breakers got nerfed, they're dropping in price. So what was the price of Firebugs when I got them? Now at 37,000. 24,000 coin. A fun fact, that is the only reason I actually pursued getting a Firebug build. It was the cheapest relic build to make. Bigfoots were cheaper than Hovers, cheaper than Legs, Firebugs. Are, were like the typhoons of today they were the worst relic so I got them right and another fun fact is I started with a Draco I started with remedies and then I got a Draco harvester and eventually I just got firebug so what did I pay for a Draco 4600 coin when Dracos were absolutely garbage so what made Dracos and firebugs rise in price they haven't really buffed them right firebugs haven't had a buff Dracos have I think Dracos actually did get a heat rate buff well, the big things that they did were nerf cap cans, they nerfed legs, they nerfed hovers, um, they nerfed bigram legs, and then they added the Argus and the Interceptor to break cap cans and porks. So a combination of all these things, they didn't have to touch fire at all to make it better. They made it better by making everything else that was the counter to fire dogs weaker. So now we're at a place where Dracos are the highest costing legendary item debatably because they are the most meta legendary weapon right now cyclone the highest i would say just because it does not have a relic counterpart and it, they're also really freaking good um so anyway moving on so what makes dracos better than firebugs when we're just comparing those two well we'll start with the price the price of firebugs is way too high compared to dracos 37k You've seen it, 8k. I would much rather, especially in a very grindy game, I don't really spend a whole lot on this game um, over the past three years I've, I've played. So I always try to go for cheap weapons. If I was going for Firebugs or Dracos, I would go for Draco just because they're cheaper than Firebugs. All right, so reason number two, Dracos actually have a better perk. That's right, I said it, Dracos have a better perk. Look at that feature. 90% RAM reduction. No matter if you're using a Firebug or a Draco, you're ramming into people, right? No matter. And debatably, Dracos are more well protected, they're more hidden, Firebugs are on the open. So if anything, Firebugs probably need this 90% resistance to melee more than Dracos do. Otherwise, they have the same 100% damage perk. But again, Firebugs do not have that ram damage reduction. So if my hover catch is gone and I'm ramming into a hover, there's a chance that the hover is going to melee me. My, melee my Dracos. Or the legs are going to melee off my Dracos. So that's another thing. The perk is just not as good. Why the Dracos have a better perk than the Firebugs is beyond me. So the other thing we're going to go with is DPS. Now technically... Firebugs do out DPS Dracos, but here's the problem. Firebugs are so awkward to build, you're not going to see a triple Firebug build used competitively or frequently. Just about all the Firebug builds need a spark or a flash, right? Just because, I mean, look how awkward this build is. It's, it's huge. It's wide. Um, it's very open. You look at a, a good Draco build... It's very protected. Same durability, only the guns are much more protected. So you can actually run three Dracos instead of three Firebugs, right? Um, so let's compare this, right? We'll, we'll do the Dracos real quick, and then we'll test out the Firebugs just to show you guys 
the DPS difference of the two meta builds. I'll go up to my terribly put together test drive area. It's more like an obstacle course than a DPS checker. So this is incredible. Obviously, we're gonna go to 999. It's gonna be right about the second bar or 9999. Well, what about firebugs? Can we even get to 9999 with two firebugs and a flash? Is it even possible? Let's find out. Both got the blight active, got my spark ready. I'm also gonna point out that one of my firebugs is fused for damage. Oh wait, this is not my build, never mind. Doesn't matter. So I couldn't even get to 9,000 with two firebugs and a spark. So three Dracos versus two firebugs and a flash. Dracos absolutely out DPS firebugs. So that's not the, the biggest deal when it comes to firebugs versus Dracos in a battle. Um, but that is a huge advantage when you're taking on the big tanky spiders um, and things like that. I guess some people would say that Dracos are better against hovers. Or, uh, firebugs are better against hovers, but let me just show you guys this, if I can find my cyclone build. Well, we'll just test them out real quick. So this is Draco. Let's see if it, how well it does hitting this hover. Not a lot of people know you can actually aim Dracos up, down, left, and right a little bit, depending on how you mount them. Not even using my blade. So, fine against hovers. You know, no difference there. Let's try the firebug. That was probably a really bad hit on the hover. I took him into a terrible spot. Took the hover into a terrible spot, but... So they're the same, essentially. People debate and say, you know, firebugs are better than Dracos for hovers. But that Draco was able to frame that hover faster than my firebug could kill it. So what really made the Dracos great is probably going to be the introduction of an interceptor. That thing absolutely, it doesn't destroy capcans, but it ignores capcans. So if you have three or four Draco players, they're just going to run straight through capcans. And that was the one thing that kind of stopped Dracos from being super meta last year, was the fact that capcans were such a problem. And even the Argus is good, but not as good as the interceptor for capcans. The Argus will target porks. Uh, it might not get all the capcans. Interceptor is really OP against Capcans, and it's probably what really makes the Draco stand out. I'm not saying anything needs a nerf, anything needs a buff in this video, guys. I'm just simply giving my perspective of which one's better. I love both builds, but it is sad to say right now that Firebugs are not as good as Draco's. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video and others, please like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. Um, any feedback you have for this. If you want to talk about what, uh, what we talked about in this video, I'd love your feedback and uh, some of your ideas. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next video.